Profile reconstruction complete. That looks like the closest we're gonna get. That's the closest we're gonna get. Possibly, most likely, yeah. It's not... It's not exactly, but you get the idea. You get the idea. <laughs> Marion Shepard, Earthborn, Ruthless Soldier. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. Mm -hmm. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Yeah. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Ooh. In year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-bearing civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars, the basis for this incredible technology, the Mass Effect. The Mass Effect. Wonderful. I just have an Aria. Sorry. The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sink engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Reacting to the chatter. Mm. Judging from her expression right now, uh, she's going to say, cut the chatter. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? Heard? 
You made a map. You made a map. No. I was just gonna say. Edward. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Renegade plus two. Yeah. Alright. I'm a little bit more familiar with these controls than Dragon Age 2, so I should have a better time. Right along with it. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Navigator. Oh. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Just as I said that. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? He wants to see me. He wants to see I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Mm -hmm. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Mm. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the Ooh. first contact war. Okay. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was long time ago. It was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Let's see. How's this all? What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Uh, just, I'll look into it. Just, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever not they want. Like kill anyone course. who gets in their way. Not like Doc, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Dr. Chuckles. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Relax, Jenkins. Doctor's right. Relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. It'll be fine. It's just another mission. Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Okay. Others still blame them for the first contact war. Oh, As for yeah. Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. 
I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But, when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so... The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the Horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The Champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Alright, so this is one of those times where she's not going to, probably not going to pick this. She's gonna... She's gonna... She, she just lost her home and her family. She's she's not in a very sarcastic mood right at this moment. Alright. So she's going to comfort her mother. I know how much Lothering meant to you, but we have to move. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Get out of here, you're running enough. Speaking of running... Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. Alrighty. Let's go. Where do we go? <laughs> Alright. Alright, our objective is... That way. Okay. Oh no. Frozen bird eggs. Mmm. handed Physical damage, eight per second. And then battle axe. Let's just quickly, it'll be fine. 